All right, suppose you've got a Visa card, and on that Visa card, your APR is 19.2%. Uh, we're going to calculate all this on an unpaid balance method. And you right now have an unpaid balance of $13.82.95. You've made a couple purchases this month at $46.93 and $16.99. And then you made a payment of $1,200. And what we need to figure out is what the finance charge is going to be for this month and then what our new balance would be using the unpaid balance method. So first thing, first thing you want to do is, is calculate that finance charge. So what you do here is take your APR. Now that APR is an annual percentage rate. So we're going to take our 19, our 19.2 percent. We're going to divide that by 12. And I guess I can go ahead and put 0 0.192. Divide that by 12. Go ahead and convert it. And we're left with a monthly charge of 0 0.016. So that's our monthly percentage rate. So to find our, our finance charge, we're going to take our, our unpaid balance times that. So our unpaid balance was, um, so for our finance charge, oops. We're going to take that unpaid balance of $13.82.95 and multiply it by our monthly rate of 0 0.016. So 1382.95 times 0 0.016, we get $22 and 13 cents. So that's our, that's our finance charge, 22.13, let's do that right. Now what's our new balance? Well, what we need to do is, uh, for that new balance, we're gonna add together our previous balance, We're going to add to that uh, any finance charges. Then we're going to add to that any purchases. And you know that that could also be um, purchases or, or like cash advances, anything that you're getting money back from it. And then we're going to then we're going to subtract away any payments or credits. Like if you took something back, you get a credit. So that's what we want to do. So our previous balance was 1382.95. We're going to add to it the finance charge of 2213. We'll add to it any purchases of four like 46.93 and 16.99. So we get the that's what we'd have 1469, but we made a payment of uh, $1,200. So we'll subtract away the $1,200 payment, and we're left with $269.